Welcome back to News Conference. If you drive a car, Proposition 33 will matter on your ballot. Here's a look at what it says. It changes current law to allow insurance companies to set prices based on whether the driver previously carried auto insurance with any insurance company. It allows proportional discount for drivers with some prior coverage. It allows increased costs for drivers without a history of continuous, continuous coverage. Rachel Hooper is spokesperson for Yes on Prop 33. Jamie Court, No on Prop 33. He's also president of Consumer Watchdog. Uh, Rachel, you start. Thanks. So Prop 33 is good for California consumers. It will save you money every month. Right now, um, it allows consumers, excuse me, Prop 33 allows consumers to switch insurance companies and keep their continuous coverage discount. Um, and it, uh, in turn, it, it additionally has consumer protections that aren't under current law. Right now in California, if you maintain a history of having car insurance, you're responsible. You get a discount, but only with your current insurance carrier. And we don't think that's fair. We think there should be more competition in the marketplace, and you should be able to switch insurance companies and keep that discount when you go there. And we think it's such a good idea, and it's not just us that think it's a good idea. USAA Insurance, um, American Legion, VFW, all these different military groups also support it because of the, in, the extended protections, consumer protections, that Prop 33 gives to consumers. So this is about... You Insurance companies being allowed to go pilfer other clients from other insurance companies, essentially. That's Marketing right, to compete. To uh -huh, absolutely. And competition is good for consumers. It lowers prices. It's a good idea. Jamie? Well, I mean, I think it's hooey. You know, we, I, 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 Consumers Union, the public, nonprofit publisher Consumer Reports, opposed to this consumer watchdog, every legitimate consumer group. This, what, what voters really need to know is this was put on the ballot by one insurance company executive, the head of Mercury Insurance, who spent $16 million dollars. 99.5% of the money behind Prop 33 comes from one engineer who is trying to repeal a ban established by voters 24 years ago. He had a ballot measure to do this two years ago and he lost. And what the ban says is you can't charge people more or less for auto insurance coverage based on whether they had insurance previously. Because some people didn't drive previously. They shouldn't be penalized with a surcharge if they didn't drive. Some people take time off to go to work at our embassies abroad and they come back and they need a car. They would be paying about 40% more under Prop 33. Good drivers shouldn't be charged more because they stop driving, and Prop 33 would do that. This is about one insurance company billionaire's marketing strategy, and that's why uh, the ads you hear running all across the state, have uh, they sound too good to be true, and they are. And if you look at who's behind the initiative, one insurance company billionaire, and who opposes it, every consumer group that's been fighting the lower auto insurance rates in the state for the last 24 years, you'll see that this is a balance of power issue, whether we give an insurance company a tool to charge more to certain kinds of drivers they don't want to insure, or whether we're going to stick with the fourth most competitive auto insurance market in the nation that we have now and not create barriers to people coming in the market who are previously uninsured, who follow the law, who are good drivers who do nothing wrong and who shouldn't be penalized. It's just not true. Good drivers are not penalized in any, in any case. And it's unfortunate that Consumer Watchdog continues to use this hyperbole and these misleading statistics to scare consumers. Prop 33 is about competition and lowering prices for car insurance for responsible drivers. Right now, under current California law, if you lapse your car insurance payment for one day for any reason, you lose your continuous coverage discount. See ya. You don't have it any longer. And we don't think that's fair. There are these continue, there are these consumer protections under Prop 33. If you are active military, you automatically qualify, you get the discount. If you're unemployed or furloughed for up to 18 months, you get the discount. And right now, if you're unemployed or furloughed, there are no protections for you. For 90 days, for any reason, you lapse your payment, you have this safety net under Prop 33. It's a good idea. If, if I lied, I wouldn't be a consumer advocate in the state for the last two decades. The only thing we have is the truth. If the nonprofit publisher consumer reports lied, they wouldn't be. The fact is this. If you don't have insurance previously because you didn't drive, you will pay more under this initiative. Under current law, you pay no, more. No, you don't. You don't you pay law. Under do. current law, there is, there, is, there, is, there is absolutely no penalty because there is a ban on whether you are rated in insurance based on whether you had insurance previously. The reason Mercury Insurance put this on the ballot is they've been caught by the Department of Insurance illegally using this rating factor. And when they were using it, we went on the website for Mercury Insurance and we put a quote in and it said we were previously uninsured because we previously did not drive. And we took a quote and it was 40% higher than the quote when we did the same characteristics from not driving. So we know this is going to be used to charge certain people more on their auto insurance and that's why this executive is behind it. You're opposed to the idea that in order to give some people a break, you're probably going to have to charge other people more. Well, I don't trust this company to give anyone a break. I don't trust insurance companies to use this factor in any way other than discriminate the, people. They'll make the argument that, cons that competition in the marketplace has worked before. Well, if, if, look, if That's we right. have more uninsured drivers because people who are previously uninsured because they didn't drive, like the people who are now under amnesty going to get driver's license, can't afford auto insurance because it's 40% higher for them when they get a quote. If those people are locked out of the market, 
our uninsured motorist premiums are going to go up. We're all going to be at more greater risk of being hit by an uninsured motorist. This doesn't help anyone. It is a self-serving and deceptive campaign to say, hey, you followed the law. We're going to give you a break on your auto insurance when it, it doesn't doesn't do that. And it's just not true. I'm sorry, Conan, but just to, to, to correct something really fast. When this portable persistency was used in the state of California from 1996 to 2002, according to the Department of Insurance's website, the number of uninsured motorists dropped in half. And we think that's astounding. Again, it's just about competition. Okay, so, Let's go so, back so to there was a ban, allowing there was a ban, on There was a ban on this for 24 years, enacted by voters. It was used when Mercury Insurance violated the law. Rates were 40 percent higher. And, 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 and now we're looking at an initiative to repeat this by the same insurance company that got caught by regulators in a court of law violating Respond to the idea that if this was such a good idea, why wouldn't you have backers from throughout the uh, industry as a one? Yeah, I think that uh, some insurance companies are going to like this and some aren't because it is going to open the market up for more competition. And I think some insurance companies are afraid of competition and they don't want to come out publicly and support this thing. But really, it is all about competition and giving consumers the control of their discount. I've been responsible. I've maintained car insurance. I should be able to shop that discount to the insurance carrier I choose. There, there, there's, the last word there's, there's, there's no shopping of discounts. This is just garbage. If you look at Consumers Union and the nonprofit publisher of Consumer Reports that signed the ballot argument, read what they say. Because what they say is this. This is about redlining. This is about a tool to one insurance company to do what they've been doing for 20 years, not wanting to insure certain types of people, people, people who are young, people who haven't had insurance previously. And we don't want to give power to one insurance executive to Very do that. Quickly, though, the argument, though, is that if somebody pays their insurance and they have sh insurance consistently, shouldn't they be given a break as a result of that? And well, should it matter what they're, company they're, they're, they're given a break by. for being Absolutely. a good driver. They're given a great for the, uh, driving less miles. They're given but a break for all sorts of things. insurance company says, I'll give you a better break. Right. Well, they, they can, they, legally they can't do they can, they can legally give you a ba better break for having more years of experience. Or, or they can give you a better break for you to drive less or because you have a good driver discount. But they shouldn't be able to charge people more who haven't driven previously because they did nothing wrong and right. didn't carry insurance. You answer that one line, then we got to go. Absolutely not. But again, look at who's supporting this. We have USAA, we have American Veterans, the Vietnam Veterans of America, companies. the California Association of Highway Patrolmen, PORAC, all the peace officers in the state, CDF firefighters. I mean, it's a good idea. It's going to lower your rates. You've got both sides with both groups behind it, uh, the no side and the yes side. Uh, Rachel Hooper, thank you very much. Thanks. Jamie Court, always a pleasure to have you on.